Hey guys, it's Sox and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with another speed pill. Today we're doing another medieval themed build. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest with this one and say this is not made for gameplay. It's made for storytelling like before anything else. This entire build, its concept and everything. Um, I'm going to flash up kind of the... Uh, inspiration on screen right now that I got from Pinterest. It's kind of just like a little sketch of this medieval tavern type thing. I don't know. It's like a it's like a tavern attached to a house. But um I realized I was building the house. It was like really large and I'm like, what if I made this an inn and then I turned it into a place for storytelling. So I'm gonna say uh that because it's not play tested. Not only is it not play tested, but it's decorated a little strangely, you'll see. Um, so it's medieval themed and it's like entirely medieval, right? I tried to do like candlelit only, um, all the stoves and like toilets and whatever are functional off the grid. Um, so yeah, it's a little like inn, basically. I've turned it into an inn slash tavern and it's kind of like a nice-ish. It's not too... Oh no, it's more like a traveler's inn. Think of like Game of Thrones, like you know the little places they stay at, the inns while they're traveling on the King's Road. Kind of something like that. A little more on the upper end though I feel like because it's attached to this nice tavern. Um, the owner probably lives upstairs in the little apartment on the right side which is above the tavern which is what I'm putting the roof on now if you did not know. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's decorated a little weird. Like all of the rooms are very basic in terms of like the tavern because it's like you know, travelers just coming in, there's like a, uh, I don't know, there's like a uh, little painting on the wall maybe or something. Uh, a couple of them have fireplaces just because of where they were. There's a lot, I mean a lot of fireplaces in this build just saying. I mean, hey, it's how they kept warm. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going for that rustic vibe. Trying to like, st like if you play a medieval style, like living off the grid and um you know the simple life whatever it's pretty good for that um there's no electronics at all basically yeah, I'm, I'm stuttering over my words a little bit i'll be honest i'm a little I'm a little rusty at a voiceover yeah my thoughts my thoughts are a little scattered today i apologize for that so yeah um this is basically like set set design that i made specifically for myself for a specific thing so if you're wondering why things look a little weird that's why I'm probably like overblown. It, it probably doesn't look that weird. I just know. Um, it's definitely meant more for its outside aesthetics. That's for sure. Like the outside looks nice and pretty and whatever. And the inside, it's nothing, nothing to write home about. And that's okay because, you know, that's kind of what I at intended uh, with it. Either way, I wanted to kind of take this opportunity because it's Wednesday the 1st of February. Yes, or the day this is uploaded. I'm filming this the night before. But, um, we got the Sims Summit, is that what they call it? I don't know, we got that thing today, which is cool, my guess. Um, getting infants, y yay. <laughs> like, I don't know, I, I feel, I feel no excitement over these announcements. Or, I feel, I do feel excitement, because when I saw that we got birthmarks in the base game, that, that, oh my god, I'm <laughs> sorry, I just felt like a burp come up, and I, like, I tried to stop it, but I kept talking, okay. That's awesome. Anyways, that made me really happy because I have a little strawberry birthmark. Um, can't really see it anymore. It's kind of just like a little bump um, right up above my lip. So it kind of looks like I had like a cleft lip surgery and I have like a scar there, but it's actually just remnants of a strawberry birthmark. Um, but when I saw the birthmarks in the game, I was so, I'm so happy, man. And you know that like, that just proves how important representation in games like this is. And that was just like a small part of the update we got too. We got like medical wearables, we got binders, we got some shapewear. I was actually really excited about the shapewear. I think that was awesome. Um, I don't know. Just get, we, it was a good update. It was a good, it was a good, I think, day to be a simmer. Oh, the top surgery scars. Oh God. And you, you know that caused, you know that caused the scene on Twitter. I was, I was there for it. Um, <laughs> as I always am with the Twitter, with the Twitter stuff stuff that is my little home my little cesspool but um yeah you know there were people complaining about that you know what i hope i really hope it inspires them to stop playing the game because it wasn't made for you and we don't want you playing it that's just 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 gonna put that out there um anyways 
Yeah, uh, so the future stuff, we're getting like a, pa a family, a family based pack, which is like, okay, kind of thought that's what we got with Parenthood, that's, that, I thought that was supposed to be it, um, you could probably just, I don't know, um, pretend Parenthood doesn't exist, add all the features into the new pack, and, you know, nobody would say anything, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, um, it, I, it, it astounds me that the Sims team will try to do something, and then they bomb so bad that it's like unrecognizable from what they were <laughs> originally trying to do. Because I remember when Parenthood was an asteroid, it's like, oh, yes, finally, generations. And then it just was not that. And you know, I like the Parenthood pack. I think it was cute. Do I think it's one of the best ones? Listen, I like the parent, the parenting skill and stuff like that. Didn't really come with a new world, which kind of sucked. It came with some cool, like, in-depth gameplay. But at the end of the day, like, if you're just going to do a Generations pack again, like, just throw it. Then it just felt like a rushed thing. Oh, no, sorry. I didn't mean for this to turn into a Sims rant. Um, of course, I, I, I encourage healthy discussions here. So I'm not saying it out of, like hatred or <laughs> like it's something like that like i enjoy this game i enjoy playing it and i want to see the best for it um i do hate ea though like we hate ea in this house fuck ea me and my homies hate ea but uh, so does like the entire internet community let's be real um so <laughs> i i don't mean I just, i'm trying to have genuine discussions when i talk about things like this um so feel free to let me know what you think as well um because you know i didn't want to do an entire separate video on it because i feel like i'm just not i'm not that channel i mean unless i'm doing it with my boyfriend i thought about reacting to the new stuff with my boyfriend then i thought hey no um no <laughs> i just don't need to like what would we say how how can we be funny when it's like people getting representation like, are we gonna make jokes about, like, hearing it? Like, no. <laughs> like, I thought about it for a quick second. Maybe when the family pack... <gasps> Maybe... Oh, okay. We'll do a review on the family pack when that comes out. I think... When does it come out? Oh, yeah. We don't have... We don't know yet. We're getting an announcement in, like, two days or a day from now when we're watching this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. Um, but, yeah. We're kind of moving on to the kitchen in the inn. Not the inn. The tavern. The tavern side of the building. So, I kind of have this little ladder going up from the kitchen to this makeshift hallway and this makeshift hallway leads into a bathroom as well as the i guess you can call it apartment dwellings <laughs> i feel like apartments didn't exist in many but or at least they weren't called apartments but it's the dwellings of whoever owns this place or maybe they rented out i don't know this is on the island of windenburg and i had this thing set up on windenburg where i wanted to make the middle island like kind of a medieval like themed thing with a bunch of medieval type builds it's kind of like a mini project i'm working on this is the first one um i'm gonna take on the 64 by 64 lot and make a castle uh, that's gonna be a little um frightening and intense uh because i don't think i've ever actually tried before like i've made decently sized manors and um some mansions never a full-on castle but i think it'll be i think it'll be fun i think it might take me a while <laughs> i feel like i don't know while i do this project just general speed builds might slow down a little bit just because like i i don't know when i start something i want to get it done um but these builds might take a little while um so what thing i imagined is um kind of making like a little town-ish section because i didn't um include like a shower uh <laughs> sorry this says we're just i didn't include a shower and i think this build at all um i wanted to kind of like make kind of a separate bathhouse you know or like i feel like people in medieval times would have just jumped in the water to bathe really <laughs> that's kind of how they do it but maybe like a separate bathhouse just because you know it is near and in so yeah it's like really medieval you know <laughs> like i went full on for those vibes don't you don't you worry i have this one really nice suite that's like nicer than all the others oh, listen it's for storytelling purposes so i like can't say too much but if you want to follow me on twitter for all my actual storytelling stuff i do a fair bit on here with my lps but like i do the actual intense stuff on my twitter mostly because like can because like i eventually want to monetize my youtube channel if i can like get it up there um, so, uh, yeah, I don't think I should be posting some of my stories that I do on there, here, just because they, they are a little, 
a little more explicit, but, um, if you're interested in that, you can go check me out on Twitter, um, it's in my description all the time. Anyways, <laughs> um, we're moving on to decorating the inn, so I wanted, um, kind of a cozy, like, couch area in front of this fireplace for people to kind of, like, I don't know, con con conglomerate? Is that, is that a word, conglomerate? I feel like it is, or whatever, you know what I mean. Um, just kind of, like, a chill seating area for people to hang out in and of course a little reception counter i don't know <laughs> the feeling is a little weird because i've never like built anything like this before like a reception desk desk for anything so it's a little it's a little weird i'm getting i'm getting out of my comfort zone with that kind of stuff though <laughs> um a lot of repeats in terms of paintings and stuff just because like there's only so much um decor that fits the um time period that i want this to be in or the setting i guess whatever you call it so yeah there's some there's some um items used in duplicates and this is such a big like and long build that i don't think um it's that bad tbh and i got to use some things and i tried to use some things that i normally don't like there are definitely a couple like old tiny antique looking pictures i never use because i normally try to do like sleek modern builds or like contemporary or sometimes modern farmhouse hell even um so i never really have an opportunity to use those paintings but i got to and you know what i like them i like them i want to use i want to use them more i want to make i want to make one of these like woodsy medieval builds because i've been i've been having a lot of fun with them that's why i'm doing this project yep that's <laughs> kind of the whole point of this video good job i'm glad i'm i'm glad i'm figuring it out as i go along totally professional professional content creator anyways um, i got a little weird desk office space in the little like corner tower i don't know i feel like any kind of inn like this would have an office space so yeah now we're moving on to the actual bedrooms of the inn wait sorry what else did we get from the sim summit today i feel like there's something else like major i'm afraid to talk about it. there's a new expansion pack um, they were the infants, yeah, that stuff. <laughs> I'm really, like, trying to avoid talk of, talking about the infants, because it's like, I don't care. I just don't, I know a lot of people are excited, I know a lot of people are upset, I'm just kind of in the middle. I don't care, personally, like, from the stuff I've seen, first off, it looks like they, like, are drooly, and they drool a lot, and, like, I I'm sorry for my mental health, I can't, I can't do it, listen, I, I know I'm in school to become a mortician, I, we're not, like, yet, you know what I mean, uh, I'm gonna become a mortician, you know, um, I'm gonna be digging around in some bodies, I'm sure, um, and I can deal with literally any other bodily fluid, besides for saliva and like it's one thing if like a person's lying down on the table right in front of me but if they're like actively like drooling a show i mean i guess dead people drool too don't they you yeah, know not like when they're like on the morgue table i feel like about to okay i don't know wow okay i'm gonna have to add a warning now into the beginning of this video because i started talking about, oh my god anyways <laughs> moving on from the Talk. Yeah, I just, I'm not a fan of saliva, so like, honestly, I think I'll just skip the life stage, pretend 10 toddlers are kind of infants, like, I feel like there's nothing wrong with the life stages and how they are, or actually, no, I do wish we had preteens, I honestly, I think I can 100% say I wish we would have had preteens instead of anything else, um, because, like, first off, the teen sims need to be shorter. Like, I cannot play my game without the teen, um, shorter sim mod. Um, but I think preteens is, like, such a distinct, like, life stage that often really gets ignored. But it's, like, I feel like one of the most consequential of your life. And I know that it's, like, you have a long life, whatever. The lifespan's so long. Happens as a kid doesn't really matter as you grow up but yeah it kind of does your environment how you deal with it whatever like um besides for more career school i also considered um teaching and honestly like i want to teach like that kind of group of kids like the preteen to early teens because like i don't know i think i was at my worst mentally ever at that state and they're uh, like kind of a hard age to like understand you know they're 
becoming their own person, but they often also get, I, I don't know, kind of left blindsided, kind of left misunderstood. I know the whole misunderstood, uh, you don't understand me, whatever, but it's kind of true. But, <laughs> you know, like it is kind of true. It's an important um, developmental stage. So I think really for good family gameplay. Oh my god, I still can't believe these walls aren't fixed. I wish we had those fixed. The curved walls are so glitchy, man. But yeah, I think like family gameplay could have been improved more by adding preteens than infants to each. And like, I'm, they'll be cool, whatever. I'm happy for the people who want them. Who really wanted them and i like that's awesome like i'm just happy that they're listening to people who are asking for stuff and the diversity this stream by the way holy shit they stepped it the fuck up they listened <laughs> when we when they got blast last time i'm um, honestly great glad that happened that was beautiful to see that they're actually like taking notes and like improving upon shit they said they're going to do that is what i'm really happy about they're being a little more transparent the sims team right now so i'm like i'm kind of driving with them kind of kind of happy to see where this new direction oh yeah the sims 5 yeah but i don't care <laughs> sorry that's what else was announced at the sims summit i literally don't care i see like oh it's sims 5 this on my twitter feed and i scroll i just do not care i'm like fine with the game we have right now um i'm playing it i'm still trying to like get the most out of it i'm fine with it sticking around for a while obviously i don't think it'll be out for a long time either but it's like while it's not out i don't care about the development right now i mean like if you know sharing the development process is great it's just i don't want to look at it i'm happy with this game right now but i'm sure in the future when i get entirely burnt out of this game i'm hearing 10k hours on it um that i will maybe want a new install eventually but uh, yeah we're getting to the end of the speed build i hope you guys enjoyed um this build will be on my gallery of course it's used no cc gallery id is in the description below and yeah thank you all for watching i will see you all in the next video of whatever i make bye